Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Hitachi Toro Mobile Pro hard drive. Now this is the 750 gigabyte version, USB 3 mobile hard drive. You get free three gigabytes of cloud storage included. And this couples up a USB 3 interface with a fast 7200 RPM hard drive inside as well. The details on the back here, you can see it says sleek mobile design for the style conscious consumer. Two levels of protection with local and cloud backup remote access with cloud backup, upgrade for more cloud storage and apps, and a fast USB 3 interface. Well, without further ado, let's get this unboxed and see what we get inside. Now, you can get other capacities of this. As I mentioned, this is the 750 gigabyte model. I've been really pleased with how this has been performing. I'm gonna show you a speed test very shortly, but let's just show you what you get inside the box. So, we've got the hard drive itself. We'll have a closer look at that in a short while. And then we have got some details here about the Mobile Pro, and it says to verify your box contents, hardware setup details, installing software, etc. And then we've got some information here, which I'm pretty sure is just uh, warranty information. And then we've got USB 3 cable here, USB 3 connection on this end, and then a standard USB type connector, albeit blue colored inside, to connect to your computer. Now it is USB 2 backwards compatible, you're just not gonna achieve the highest data transfer rates if you do connect it to a USB 2 interface. Then we've got the hard drive itself, really nice design. It is plastic, don't get me wrong, so we have got plastic construction. We've got plastic rim here, which is made to look like metal, but again, this is plastic as well. But that's reflected in the price, and it does feel very well made. It doesn't feel like a cheap device. No, no external power supply is required for this. We've got a single USB 3 connector here. It is bus powered. And then if we turn around to the front, we've just got a nice clean design all the way around. No rubber feet on this one either, which I found a little bit strange, but it does make it to be a very sort of sleek unit when you're carrying it around. So now let's cut to the speed test and see how the Toro Mobile Pro performs. So what you're seeing now is the desktop of my 2012 MacBook Air and the Hitachi Toro Mobile Pro hard drive is connected via the USB 3 interface. The application you're seeing is Blackmagic Design's Disk Speed Test and this is a free app in the Mac App Store. Now the first thing we're gonna do is click the little cog wheel here and select a target drive and just make sure we've got the Hitachi drive selected. So we're testing the correct drive. And then we're gonna click start. It's gonna start with a right speed test. And you can see here, not blisteringly fast, but a respectable 36.5 megabytes per second. And then on the read speed, we're almost achieving 40 megabytes per second. It's coming in just under at 39.8. Now we'll let this run through again because sometimes it does give a better sort of speed test on the second round. 38.1 megabytes per second on the right and the read speed has improved fractionally at 39.9 megabytes per second. So a respectable score from the Hitachi Toro Mobile Pro. Please do take into account I'm also recording my screen at the same time so that does impact the scores very slightly. And now we'll go back to my closing comments. Well, I'm sure you'll agree that this drive offers up a really good turn of performance. I've been really pleased with how this has been performing during my three or four weeks of testing. This is gonna cost you around about 85 pounds for the 750 gigabyte version, or around about $95 if you're in the US. I think the Hitachi Toro Mobile Pro is a well-built unit, good performance, and very pleasing to look at, and a very mobile package as well, which is what it's all about when it comes to a mobile hard drive. So thanks very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do check the links below. Please do subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.